Jewish partisans were armed resistance fighters behind enemy lines, guerrilla fighters, during World War II. And they were significantly fewer in number than invading German forces. They mostly escaped from ghettos or camps to join existing armed resistance groups, but some formed their own units. They got supplies from wherever they could, often stealing weapons and material from the Germans. Partisans also took what they needed from civilians when it was not freely given to them. Partisans relied on hit-and-run tactics rather than conventional tactics as their small numbers of weapons were no match for the Germans. They sought to destroy strategic military targets and their operatives, not civilians. Approximately 20 to 30,000 Jewish partisans spread across at least 10 Nazi-occupied territories in Europe, fighting the Germans. Jewish partisans fought in Greece, Italy, and France in the southern part of Europe to Poland, Lithuania, Russia, and other regions of the Soviet Union further north. The Newsreel. It's how most Americans saw World War II unfold. American audiences watched the Nazis occupy major Eastern European cities in their advance toward Moscow and Stalingrad. Typical images of Jews during this time period depicted them as helpless victims of genocide. Yet from Soviet newsreels, we can see a rare glimpse of another side of the Jewish experience during World War II. As partisans, Jewish resistance fighters behind enemy lines who were determined on derailing the German war effort. This rare footage documents Polish and Russian partisans, which included thousands of Jews who escaped the virtual death sentence of Nazi occupation. To fight the Nazis, partisans endured extreme conditions, harsh winters and little food, and being without permanent shelter for years on end. 